Living with type 1 diabetes, you're asked to put your faith in technology. You trust it with your survival. So when that technology breaks, what are you supposed to do? Well, that happened to me recently. And this is the story of how my insulin pump broke. You know, I was looking at my pump one day and there was this place where I got to from the menu and it said, um, days until replacement or something like that. And it was like 2000 days. And I thought to myself, am I ever gonna see that tick down to zero? And uh, well, the answer's no, um, cause, cause it's broken. Yeah, yeah, my pump has broken. I mean, I've got so much else going on right now in my life. I really don't need it, but I mean, it's pretty crucial um, to my diabetes management, so we're gonna sort it out. But if you're wondering, which I'm sure you are, that's why you're here in this video, here is what happened when my insulin pump broke. It's Friday, and I'm just finishing up a long day of hardly working from home. It's site change day, and my insulin cartridge is running a bit low, so I decide to change that too. So I've been using this pump, which is the AccuCheck Insight, for about two years now, and up until now, you know, it served me really, really well, and changing the cartridge in the pump is a really simple process. You know, right at this point, it's muscle memory. I can do it with my eyes closed. You know, I do all the steps in the right order, and I expect the pump to do the same. Which is why I didn't immediately realize that something was wrong. It was one of the final steps where the pump fills up the tubing with insulin and it's supposed to stop when it reaches the infusion end. But it didn't. It kept going until the entirety of the pump cart, more than 100 units of insulin, had been pushed out into a little puddle onto my table. Luckily, the pump has a few safety steps in place and you have to confirm that you're not attached to it in order for it to begin pushing the insulin through. Had that not been there, then all of that insulin would have gone into my body and given me one hell of a hypo. So when I'd seen that my pump had obviously horrifically malfunctioned, I called up Roche and they sent out a new pump almost straight away. I received it in the next few days, but even when it got here, I couldn't use it because that insulin cartridge that had just been wasted was actually my last one that I had in stock. I was waiting on a delivery that had been delayed, so I had no more pump carts. I only had pens. So even when the pump arrived, I wasn't able to use it straight away. So that's really where my pump holiday began. Okay, so that's the story, um, and it's actually been quite a gap between now and when that happened. I've actually been sort of enjoying a pump holiday, and I'm feeling a little bit guilty about that because, you know, it's a medical device that not everyone gets to have, and I feel like, you know, I'm taking it for granted, but I've actually been sort of enjoying being on injections for you know a few weeks just because um, it's just something different I got so used to having the pump connected to me for literally the whole day and the whole night so now I was sort of unchained I, I felt a bit of freedom but I think you know I'm starting to realize why multiple daily injections didn't necessarily work out for me so we're gonna get back on the pump and uh, Roche sent me a lovely little letter to remind me to send back my pump because it's been quite a while. So actually, you know, they were really good when I phoned them up and said, you know, my pump's broken, here's what happened. They very quickly sorted me out a replacement, but they did say, we're gonna need you to send the faulty one back. And I don't know, I just sort of forgot about it for a while. I just sort of put the pump out of my head. You know, the world's a mad place right now. My life is changing constantly, dramatically, all the time. Um, so I just really haven't had the mental capacity to deal with it, but uh, thanks to this very polite, I must say, um, letter to remind me to send it back. Today's the day when we're going to sort out the old pump and get the new one all connected and servicing me like it should. So here is my old pump, the offending article, and then we also have all the other bits that were involved in the incident. So this is the infusion set, this is the battery cover, and then this is the insulin 
pub cart. There we go. Got to go at the end. Ah, first issue. Oh no, there they are. Ignore me. I was gonna say they didn't include the alcohol wipes, but here they are. Look, I've got them. So, I've got to use alcohol wipes to completely clean all areas of the pump. Remove all batteries. All batteries must be removed and cannot be returned to the UK Postal Service. Do not return to rush any batteries. Okay, so batteries are going, you can't chuck away your batteries in the bin. You have to take them to be disposed properly. You heard me? Good. Goes in there. There it goes, that's the pump, bye pump. Nice knowing you for two years. And then came the hard work. I spent the next hour connecting the new pump to the handset and slowly tapping away on that clunky handset as I entered each of my five different basal profiles and set up my temporary basal rates. So I effectively told the pump how much insulin to give me in each of the 24 hours in a day five different times plus adding in those temporary basal rates. So I tapped quite a few times. And after all of that tapping was complete, that means that my pump is now up and running and back in business uh, like it was before it broke. But that is essentially what happened when my pump broke and how I managed to get a new one actually pretty quickly. So thank you, Rosh, for that. If you like this video, guys, please hit that like button and subscribe too because I checked out my analytics and so like 90% of my uh, views don't come from subscribers. So if you like what I'm doing here on YouTube, definitely hit that subscribe button. But that is it for today video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.